God, look at this! Australia, the land of stunning landscapes, beautiful beaches and unique wildlife. If you are new here, good day, we are Sarah and Igor, two full-time travelers exploring the beautiful country of Australia with our camper van and enjoying all the natural treasures this country has to offer. Hi everyone and welcome back to our Australia adventure. We are still heading to Brisbane, but today we are doing something very special, something we never did before. We're gonna fly above the Great Barrier Reef. We are super excited, so let's go! And we are back! It was so, so stunning. I'm so happy that we did it. Initially, our plan was just like to take a boat to go to the reef and snorkel a little bit around, but Sarah had this idea to take the plane to see the Great Barrier Reef from above and I'm so, so happy. I listened to her once in my <laughs> lifetime. It was such a nice experience. Also the whole team who organized it was really kind and everything went so well and the Great Barrier Reef and also this Whit Sunday beach or Whit Sunday island was so stunning. I'm so happy. Definitely a dream came true and it was one of my best adventures in my whole life. I don't have anything to add. I can just say, yeah, he is right. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Sarunya. Last night we were sleeping around Mackay and today we are able to visit the city. It is really fun. You've got your home with you, you can drive everywhere and you're able to visit even the small cities all around Australia. Maybe not all, but at least at the coast. And today, by completely coincidence, we end up in this street. We actually wanted to see only some beautiful buildings, but when we were walking around, I saw this beautiful mural of butterfly. Of course, I had to check the street out and take Igor with me. <laughs> Good morning, beautiful people, and welcome from the city Rock Hampton. Yesterday, we had such a long journey. So we started in the morning in the beautiful city of Mackay and drove like four hours and about 350 kilometers all the way along the coast to Rockhampton. And because it was already late, we were just super happy to find a campsite and finally get some rest, sleep and relax. But today, because we are so close to Rockhampton, the city itself, we said we can't miss it and now we are here and it is definitely definitely a great decision that we came here because this city is so beautiful especially this promenade along the water it is stunning you have so many beautiful buildings from the 19th century and they give this place such a beautiful touch This wasn't even on our list, but after a few people told us about it, they a little bit convinced us. And it is called 1770, which is a little bit unusual. And the place is also unusual because you've got beautiful beach and around you've got small and big sun islands, which look absolutely incredible because Igor is responsible for all the driving and he drove us to Elliot's Heads. I'm responsible for food and today we've got beautiful porridge with fruits which is looking delicious and I'm sure it tastes the same. Mm -hmm. Very good. Wow, this place is so nice. The beach is so Big. I guess it, the water is also a little bit back at the moment, but still, such a beautiful white sun, waves, some trees, what a heaven, really, so pretty. Such a beautiful beach, so wide, 
open with the sand dunes, with the ocean, with some stones. So beautiful. Oh my god. Look on the left. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, look at this. This is so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, do you know this situation where you didn't expect to do something? You were like, mm, maybe I will skip it for today. I won't make this experience, but somehow the universe or your wife or something else tells you you should definitely go there. Then you come to a beautiful place like this rainbow beach and you immediately fall in love with it. It is so impressive, it is so beautiful, it is one of the most beautiful beaches we have ever seen. This white sand is stunning, it's such a white beach and also the water is so crystal clear blue and in the back you have also a part of the beach which is like in different colors that's also probably the reason why this beach is called the rainbow beach you really fell in love with it it is i know i repeat myself but it is it is i, I just i don't have any words it is so beautiful this is one of the most beautiful beaches i've ever been and this is how exactly i was imagining the beaches of Australia. Wide, wide, beautiful sea, some ocean, I mean, <laughs> some greenery, and this space all around, like, it's so spacious, huge, and absolutely beautiful. After all those beautiful beaches we visited today, we were thinking, let's go somewhere else. So we are now at Nosa River, I think, no, you probably pronounce it Nusa because you also say Scooby-Doo and this has also two O's, so that's my logic. It's Nusa River and it is quite a beautiful area. You have a beautiful park here, you have some people on the boat enjoying themselves and we also said we really feel that we are really close to a big city which is Brisbane in this case because you see the beautiful buildings and all the people. Probably it's like a weekend getaway where people like to come here when they have enough of the big city life. But Musa so far, lovely. Ice cream for breakfast? Yes, please. Cheers. <laughs> this pelican, it's bigger than I am and it's even older because it was built in 1977. Interesting. Since yesterday we had a little bit relaxing day on the beach, today Igor insisted to come to this lookout. It is called Glass House Mountains Lookout. We still didn't see the mountains. I mean, we saw them when we were driving here, which was epic, but we didn't see the mountains from the lookout. So let's go. Wow, that's pretty. Oh my god, how many are those? Oh, actually, you can even check here. How do you read those? <laughs> oh, I see you. You start here. So you see the name and you even see how tall it is. So it's 556 meters. I must say I'm really happy that I was so persistent that I convinced Sara to come here because it's so beautiful. It's also something else than all the cute towns and all the beautiful beaches we've seen so far on our way to Brisbane. And this place is so unique, all these mountains and especially this one which is like a unique shape, it's really like sharp, it looks like all the rocks fell down back in the days and this one is also called Kun Kunori, I think that's the name, that's how you pronounce it, this is definitely my favorite and also Sarah's favorite but all of them are really beautiful and this lookout is already on the way to Brisbane, so it's a perfect stopover to enjoy and to see something else and a different side of Australia. Igor, the YouTuber, trying out his skills on photography. <laughs> it's fun. How is it going? Amazing so far. So, you will probably see 
I hope if Sarah choose my pictures, you will see those on our blog because <laughs> all the time I'm taking also some pictures and then they never appear to the public. So that's Sarah's fault because she never published them. But I promise they are also pretty nice. <laughs> that is true, actually. It is true. I never publish his pictures. I always publish mine because I think they're a little bit better. It's not always true, but somehow I like mine a little bit better. But he's responsible for YouTube, so I'm responsible for blog. So I feel like I need to post my pictures. You want to say something? No, it's enough now. Everyone knows our truth why my pictures never appear on our blog. <laughs> this is it guys, we arrived to Brisbane, but this it's gonna be covered in our next video. And of course, as always, if you did like this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe to our channel and leave a comment. And we're gonna see you in the next one, bye.